Let's start. Hi, Hi there, welcome, welcome back to Extreme Family. Family. My name is Bevan. My name is Dia. So what are we doing today? Today we're doing tuna cake. Mm -hmm. so, so what are the ingredients? You can start. We shan't say the ingredients right now, but let's talk about it first. How are we deep frying it today? No, we're not deep frying it or cooking it. We're shallow frying it. Oh yeah, right. And like, you can have this as appetizers and cocktail snacks. This is for anyone. And this is a good, great dish to, for you guys to make. And it's very easy. So let's move on to the ingredients. Come. Come on. So guys, the ingredients that we have here are mustard, mayonnaise. We have tuna. You guys can have canned tuna or fresh tuna from the market fish market I and we minced have mint yeah. tuna minced and this is bre don't well, forget um these the canned tuna have a lot of water you can squeeze it yeah it and it. yeah you can do whatever you feel like doing it and this is breadcrumbs we have salt mm. pepper lemon juice lime juice lime juice yeah one egg we have mixed sweet peppers which are green orange yellow and yellow we have chives cilantro ginger garlic and onions and that's the ingredients Those easy the ingredients two um two tuna cakes two tuna cakes yes two yes. oh two. two tuna cakes okay so let's start so guys, now we're gonna start mixing the ingredients except for the egg and the breadcrumb. Yes. So first, let's start off by using the ingredients on the plates. So let's put the chives first, sweet peppers, onions, onions cilantro, ginger. ginger, and garlic. Let's just wipe everything off. Okay, you can put it right there. And you can put the pepper. Yes, you can put the pepper. Okay, this much of pepper. And uh, the same, uh, the, mu the much you put uh, for the pepper, the same <laughs> amount you put for the salt. <laughs> this is the same, this is how much you put for salt. It's like one third teaspoon, a third of, a third teaspoon. And we can put all the lime juice. Okay, great. Good. The lime juice is here to give mixing flavor. <laughs> Dude, stop. Okay, now let's put a little bit mayonnaise. Oh my God. Okay. Right. More, oh. more. <laughs> okay. More. Mm. That was just a weird way of getting mayonnaise out. <laughs> mm. uh, <laughs> come on. Okay. It's not. Okay, great. Mayonnaise smells good. Now you gotta mix everything up. So let's put these ingredients away. Empty ingredient cups. So first, and now we can put the egg. Okay, that's gonna be weird. And just break. Gotta broke. put broke. this in here. I'll be back. Okay, guys, now we're putting the breadcrumbs and we gotta put it little by little. It's called the binding agent. The FBI agent is here. Okay, let's put more. Oh my gosh. That's good. It gives it crispiness and we can put this layer to give it more binding and it will get even crispier. Oh, wait, Bowen, I guess you gotta get the breadcrumbs from there. And it already smells good. I can smell the tuna, right? Yeah. He loves, he eats tuna sandwiches, but now he doesn't, I don't know why. Well, 
he's gonna eat tuna again. This is the first time eating tuna in 2021. Yeah, yeah, of course. First time in 2021. So guys, now we're supposed to make the shape. So Bavin, first get yours. So. Okay, this much is good for one. It's like the one that we say said vegetable cutlet is supposed to be in that size, right? Hey guys, there's more than two cakes. Yeah. This is the first trial we had. So guys, got this thing. See? Oh, that's good, Babin. That's that very good. There's but you got to make it a little bit thickened up because or else it will fall apart. So you have to be careful with it. Make it into a nice circle. And done. So let's put it on the plate. And so guys, um, we're about to shallow fry the cake. And you can use oil. Yeah, oil. Oil or clarified butter. Yeah, that's another thing. You don't only need to do oil, but it's up to you guys. You can deep fry it or shallow fry it. It's however you want it. So let's start and the oil should be heated. Yeah, it is heated. So let's place it. Okay, nice and slowly. We gotta dust Didn't it. Just dust it in the breadcrumbs. Like what he's doing right now. We might have to do the edges as well to get more crispiness. Okay, yeah. now you can sprinkle it. Don't pat it too hard or else it will fall apart and it would not look good. But it's not about looking good, but the taste from it would go into the oil. That's all. Happen. That's what happens. Oh, you mean the oil will go into the cake? No, not about that. Great. The taste mostly goes in. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Because the garlic is in it. Oh. And the garlic essence would go in the oil, which makes it not taste that good. So don't do that mistake. Okay, so this is how it's supposed to look, but it's not fully ready yet. So, gotta get it up gently. Wait. Okay, perfect. It's a good. It's good. We still have another two more to go, but the they can't fit because we want it to cook slowly. That when it tastes much better. So guys, we've got its color. So let's turn this. Oh my God! It's not turning. I guess it has to get some time. It's not turning. And I just kind of burned myself. Oh, we already turned it and it still has to get more color. So let's wait. So guys, now the tuna cake is ready and now we're gonna remove it from the pan to the plate. Okay, come, let's take it. Let's take it easy. Okay, great. Okay. Oh. Great, and now we can make put the other two here. Yes. So guys, now the uh, last two tuna cut tuna cakes are ready. So Bami, you have to be careful, don't drop any. They're slippery. Yeah, they're very slippery because they're in oil. Okay, put that perfect. Oh, well, we can fix that. We can fix that, Bami, leave it, leave okay. it. You'll break it if you put it more. We can fix that when we're plating it. Now we're finished with the last tuna. Okay. Hey, perfect. What? Did you just say hey? No, I said hey. Perfect. Oh. Okay, now we have to go back to taste okay. time. Taste time, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's go. Okay, man. Come, let's do it. Okay. Right. Let's taste. Yeah. yeah, let's taste. Because it's very important. Mm -hmm. Wait, before that. Lemon. 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 This, 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 this. Oh, this. Only this. Mm, great. 
good. That's good. And then we can taste. Mm -hmm. Okay. Big piece. Thank you for cutting it for me. Mmm. Mmm. I have that lime juice flavor inside. And the outside was super lemony flavor. I like it very much. So let's first hear from Bobbin's comment. Okay. I didn't taste the tuna in a normal sandwich, you know. I didn't taste that type of tuna. I tasted every single vegetable and ingredient that was added in it. Yeah. Especially the touch of the lemon juice. Yeah, the touch and the lime juice that was inside made it even tastier. It was, when you fried it, it was so good and the smell makes you water, it makes our mouth water. We were so surprised when we got that smell. It was a nice, delicious smell. We've never smelled that. This is our first time doing tuna cake. Yeah. Bavin, come on. And I had, I tasted the chives a lot because it had a flavor to everything. Whatever dish that we make in chives, you guys can always taste it. I'm not sure if you guys can't. I guess it's the reason that you might be putting less of them. Well, I guess that's it. Yeah. And one more thing before we end the video. You guys can eat this with tartar sauce from a lot. Tartar sauce has mayonnaise based on mayonnaise and, and romalade. Yes. And you can eat it with ketchup. Ketchup. And other sauces. Sweet, sweet chili, chili sauce. Sweet, sweet, sweet chili and sauce. Sour. Sweet it's, and sour. Yeah, whatever sauce makes you. Suits you. Suits you. You guys can use it, but out for kids, it's ketchup. Ketchup and our sweet chili sauce. I'm not sure if they eat it mostly with tartar sauce because they'll be thinking it's weird because it's white. Yeah. So. Let's end this. If you guys like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Yeah. So see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.